Hi, this is problem 13 from the AMC 12A. Driving at constant speed, Sharon usually takes 180 minutes to drive from her house to her mother's house. One day, Sharon begins the drive at her usual speed, but after driving one-third of the way, she hits a bad snowstorm and reduces her speed by 20 miles per hour. This time, the trip takes a total of 276 minutes. How many miles is it from Sharon's house to her mother's house? Okay, so this looks like a classic uh, rate, time, and distance problem. We have 180 minutes for the total drive on a normal day. That's three hours, so let's write that in before we forget. Uh, I like to make a little picture to remind myself of the information. So total distance from Sharon to her mother's house is distance D. And we're told on a normal day she can drive that at speed S and that gets her to her house in three hours. So rate times time is equal to distance. So that should come in handy at some point. Now on the bad day, it looks like she gets one third of the way there at speed S. And then the remainder of the trip, two thirds of the way, she has to do at speed S minus 20. So we have these two trip sections and do we know the time for the second portion of the set of the uh, trip? And it looks like we do because the time for the first third is just one third of three hours. That's just one hour. So this second trip is done, or second portion of the trip is done at t of 276 minus 60. That's 216. That's an awkward number. Let's see if we can try to reduce that to a more manageable fraction. That's 3 hours and 36 minutes. That's 3 hours and 3 fifths or 18 fifths hours. So that's probably the most convenient form. And let's see if we can work out a rate times time equals distance for the second portion of the trip. We have rate times the time is equal to the distance. Okay, looks like we can substitute S for D over 3. Minus 20 times 18 over 5, 2 thirds D. Looks like we can multiply both sides by 3 and both sides by 5 to arrive at d minus 60 is equal to 10d. So what is that now? That's uh, 18d minus 10d, that's 8d, is equal to 18 times 60. We can divide out by the factors of 2 to find out that d is equal to 9 times 15 or 135 for choice B.